Let's take a look at a half-wave mercury vapor rectifier. Now, I've got one here. This was ac actually out of an old uh, uh, DC drive. Uh, it was for a variable speed uh, DC motor. And uh, this is the, uh, the anode up top here, connected here. And this is the cathode, and the cathode's tied to the, to the heater there. And you can see the gap in between there. This, this thing has some mercury inside of there, and the mercury adds some uh, uh, extra electrons to the mix here. So uh, we'll see what it looks like when we, when we turn it on. Now, it, uh, the filament voltage is it's 2.5 volts, and it'll actually run at 7 amps, okay? And the uh, max voltage I can put across the, uh, from the uh, cathode to the anode is, is 2,000 volts. Now, I'm not going to run it anywhere near there. I'm going to try to run it at about uh, 40 volts or so, 38 volts. And so this is how I'm doing it here. So I have uh, the heaters connected here. And I tapped off a transformer here at uh, 2.5 volts. And then I have my uh, 38 volts here going to the one side of the cathode here, or one side of the heater, and then to the, uh, and then the anode, from the anode back through the load to the uh, other side of the transformer. So it forms a positive clipper because I have the, uh, the load here on the, the anode side here. So we're clipping the positive side off of here. Now, I have to let the tube heat up for about 20 seconds before I apply uh, voltage to the anode. Uh, you have to have that mercury uh, vaporized in the tube before you do that. Now, what happens here is when uh, this is a AC on, on the uh, anode here, between the anode and the cathode, when the, uh, the uh, plate is positive, current can pass from the cathode to the anode, and when the plate is negative, uh, the tube is non-conducting, okay? So, I had, a, uh, I had to make my own transformer up, so here it is here. Uh, it has to be able to take, uh, handle seven amps for the, uh, uh, filament. This is an old microwave transformer, so this is the 120 volt side, and the high voltage side was up here, and I, I cut that out, and I rewound it with about uh, uh, 38 uh, turns of number 14 wire, which is good for about 15 amps. And then I, I put several taps in here, because I wasn't quite sure uh, what voltage I'd get. This one here, I'm getting about uh, 2.6 uh, volts, and then I think three on this side, and a you know, 1.9 or something on this side. So I have several taps that I can uh, to, uh, deal with there. So now when I start this thing, I'm going to do it with a variac because the there's going to be a big inrush current on that uh, um, on the heater here because when the heater is is cold, uh, it has the resistance is very low on that. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to um, hook it up and we're going to see what the uh, what the uh, tube looks like when it's running. And now I have to do it vertically. You can't run these things horizontally. They have to be vertically because of the, uh, the way the mercury is in there. So we'll, we'll hook it up and then we'll take a look at the scope, see what it looks like. All right, I've got, uh, I got about six amps on the, the filament and it's been on for a while. Should you leave it on for uh, 20 seconds before you start it? And uh, we'll see what happens. There we go. We cover up this. You can see it's it's glowing there. I'll get a picture of it on the side here. Let me uh, cover up that load there. That's better. There we go. That's the. Uh, that's the tube, and uh, it's working. You can see the uh, ultraviolet light there from the uh, from the mercury. Uh, kind of neat, yeah. Anyway, that's uh, that's a mercury vapor tube. Uh, thank you.